lazy eye um, is you know failure of the eye to develop fully uh, during childhood uh, which is between birth to about a year of age uh, contributing to permanent poor vision a person who's suffering from just myopia or other refractive errors alone uh, without lazy eye should be able to have their eyesight fully restored when they wear the appropriate uh, you know, corrective spectacles or contact lenses. If the person has lazy eye, by definition, um, despite full correction of their eye power, such as you know, with glasses or contact lenses, uh, he or she will still not be able to achieve good vision. And uh, you know, the same goes with uh, the other possible uh, causes of um, amblyopia. So if there is a cataract, for instance, uh, once the cataract is removed, the person uh, who is not amblyopic will be able to achieve good vision, whereas a, an amblyopic patient or a person with lazy eye, despite the surgery, will still not be able to achieve good vision. The most common cause will be uh, problems like high eye power, uh, myopia, which is short-sightedness, hyperopia, which is long-sightedness, and uh, also astigmatism. Uh, the other, uh, you know, big group of uh, you know disease, eye disease that can contribute to um, lazy eye is uh, strabismus or squint, eye squinting, which is the you know malalignment of the eyeballs. And uh, rarer causes are eye diseases like cataracts in childhood, as well as uh, you know any you know eye problem that could occlude the vision of the child, like a droopy eyelid. When lazy eye becomes permanent, then um, well, it is irreversible. No matter you know what you know you do to correct the eye power or the squint or remove a, a cataract or you know rectify a droopy eyelid for instance the eyesight will not be able to improve further and um, uh, you know with a poorer um, seeing eye in general um, you know of course vision is affected but also more importantly uh, our um, stereopsis which is depth of perception um, will also be affected Stereopsis or depth of perception is a measure, a finer measure of our eyesight and although it is not uh, compulsory to have good stereopsis for uh, most um, jobs uh, or you know most activities even, um, it is still you know a nice thing to have. It allows us to judge distance and depth better and certain professions or vocations may require uh, better depth perception than others. So for instance, uh, you know, a crane or forklift uh, operators uh, may need to have good stereopsis uh, as well as, you know, uh, surgeons. In general, the school health screening checks for eye problems such as screens and refractive errors from the age of about two-year-old in the, you know, uh, childcare and kindergartens and uh, that uh, continues up to you know when the children are about uh, higher primary school yeah so uh, if there are any cases that slip through the net of course it is you know uh, highly recommended for parents to bring their children in for eye screening as early as you know uh, one to two year of age diagnosis of lazy eye is based on a very complete eye check uh, in childhood uh, which should include a thorough refractive uh, uh, evaluation, so checking the eye power of the child, uh, including with um, cycloplegia, which is eye drops to uh, fully relax the accommodating eye muscles. Um, also, a very comprehensive squint check, so checking for the alignment of the eyes to uh, detect any strabismus or squint. Management of lazy eye uh, depends uh, firstly on the underlying uh, disease. 
so or, or you know eye condition so if there is um, high refractive errors like uh, myopia or astigmatism or you know hyperopia that needs to be corrected with glasses or contact lenses first so in a child it is very important for him or her to wear uh, the spectacles full time so all the time and on top of that eye patching is also essential so eye patching using an eye patch like this uh, needs to be performed together with the um, you know glasses uh, wearing the glasses or contact lenses apart from this of course you know treatment of the other uh, possible contributing uh, um, eye conditions like squint and um, you know rarer diseases like cataracts or droopy eyelids are also important so for instance if you know um, the contributing uh, cause is a squint if it is a small squint sometimes uh, it's you know uh, well just observation alone uh, together with you know very regular eye patching um, however if it is a large squint uh, or a moderately large squint then um, you know a squint surgery may be necessary on top of the eye patching by and large the eye patching regime is a daily affair and uh, you know usually it is for at least a few hours a day depending on how poorly seeing the lazy eye is so the um, lazier the eye then the longer duration of patching and the patching regime generally needs to last for at least a couple of months the um, you know treatment itself uh, usually will need to be instituted earlier the earlier the better because you know by the time uh, the child reaches about eight year old then you know there's uh, very uh, minimal uh, benefit from continuing treatment.